Hey guys, it's Meshka. If you have missed my previous uploads, I've been vlogging. I feel like I've been vlogging like crazy. I'll leave them in the description box below. Check them out. In today's video, it's going to be all about flax seeds and hair growth oil. So I'm going to be making a flaxseed gel and I'm going to add some hair growth oil to that. The hair growth oil that I'll be using is my personal one that is available on the website Juno's Curls. It's called the 5 Oil Fusion Hair Growth Oil. So I'll be adding that to the flaxseed gel. I did a similar video like this um, a few years back. And yes, yeah, so I'm going to be using the flaxseed gel as a pre-poo. Guys, I... Yo, a flaxseed gel is a game changer for pre-pooing. It's like, I felt like I got maximum hydration when I did the pre-poo using the flaxseed gel. It is amazing. Anyways, before we get into the video, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. And if you have used flaxseed gel in your hair as a pre-poo, I want to hear your experience in the comments below. Let me know. Okay, so let me just quickly tell you how to make the flaxseed gel. It is super, super easy. All you're going to need is flax seeds, um, a pot with boiling water, and a cheesecloth. I recommend a cheesecloth because it's a bit easier than using a strainer to get out the, the gel. So yeah, that's all you're going to need. I think I use one third of a cup of flaxseed to two cups of water. Yeah, I think that's what I did. I got like a little bit of the flaxseed gel after doing that measurement, but it worked really well for the amount of hair that I had. It's like I got the exact amount. So depending on how much hair you have, then you would have to eyeball it um, and see if that amount would be okay for you. But I guess if you add a lot of water, then you definitely get a jelly consistency for your flaxseed gel. So if you are a health conscious person like I try to be, <laughs> um, you would know that flax seeds are great to include in your diet. But in today's video, of course, I'm just going to be using it to pre-poo. I just thought about doing, I love to pamper my hair. If you have been following my channel, subscribe to my channel for a few years now, you know that I love to pamper my hair just like how I love to pamper my body. Um, I like to treat myself to good things to eat. Yeah, I love to do the same thing for my hair. So I do a lot of DIYs to my hair and I love it. I feel like this one is the best, best one so far. So I wasn't able to get out all of the little seeds, the flax seeds, but that's okay because it's not hard to get out of your hair. It wasn't hard for me. It was like super easy. Um, yeah, but when I do a pre-poo, I normally do a oil pre-poo because I don't know. I don't do liquid pre-poo that often, but if you're suffering from dry hair, this is a great weekly treatment to include in your healthy hair growth regimen. It literally hydrates your hair. I feel like it's like maximum hydration it gave me because my hair was as you can see my hair is super super dry and crispy but once i applied the flaxseed gel it immediately transformed my hair my hair drank it up and i love that if you've gotten this far in the video go ahead and hit that thumbs up button i love it when you guys do that and i so so appreciate it also, drop some comments below. Let me know what you think about using flaxseed in your hair. Are you for that using natural things in your hair or you just rather to go to the store and buy something that's already made? Let me know. I also added the 5 Oil Fusion Hair Growth Oil to my flaxseed gel mixture. Um... I added that because I normally use that as a hot oil treatment or a pre-poo treatment weekly. So I just added that because, you know, I mean, more the merrier. Okay. Flax seeds have a lot of vitamins in them like vitamin B, magnesium, and omega-3 fatty acids. This 
this little treatment, I feel like it is going to be great if you're on a healthy hair growth journey because it is so moisturizing. Um, I feel like moisture is one of the key ingredients when you're looking to grow your hair because the more moisturized your hair is, it's the is easier it's going to grow. It's definitely going to grow and you're not going to be faced with a lot of single strand knots that's eventually going to turn into split ends because your hair is going to be so moisturized. Okay, so now that we're on to the part where I'm applying the Faxi Gel, tell me, do you not see how my hair is drinking up this product? I'm literally applying the flaxseed gel on dry hair. I didn't have to wet my hair um, with water before applying the gel. The gel is literally working on its own. And I am so impressed. I was so impressed because I wasn't even looking into a mirror to see um, what was going on. But when I felt my hair and, and then I finally looked up, I was like, wow because I was comparing it to the dry side of my hair that wasn't done as yet to the more hydrated side of my hair. And I was so impressed. This treatment, I think I will definitely include it into uh, every other week kind of treatment. I love to do these pamper things to my hair. I don't know about anyone else. I just love to do it. So let me just give you a little update on how my hair is growing. Um, if you are new here, then you didn't know, you wouldn't know that I had a baby. Seven months ago, I had a baby and I went through postpartum shedding. The edges of my hair, that was like gone, <laughs> but it is growing back now. Um, so let me just tell you how my hair is because as some of you may know, I create my own natural hair products called Juno's Curls. And since using solely using my own products into my hair, my hair has, oh my God, it has transformed. I'm not trying to brag or anything, but I literally see the difference and feel the difference in my hair. I created a green tea line and I think continuously using my products have left my hair so healthy. I do not have so much shedding after i did this treatment i followed up with my products and i did a deep conditioning routine and i used my deep conditioner to detangle my hair and i got like the tiniest amount of hair when i detangled my hair and i was so impressed because a few months ago i was going through postpartum shedding so badly so badly guys and I was so surprised to see that my hair is not shedding like crazy um, as it was a few months ago. My hair feels so much better. I am so impressed. Um, I find that how I created my products is that I find that the, the least amount of ingredients, I try to create my products with not a lot of ingredients because less seems to be better for my hair and my scalp. The, the most my scalp because i have sensitive scalp so the products that i created are so gentle on my scalp and i feel like they definitely transform my hair strengthen my hair and uh, i mean i'm happy i used them the last time i used a gel like consistency product for my pre poo was when i tried the aloe vera leaf I only tried I think I tried that one or two times and I like I liked it initially it's that video is still on my channel I liked it but then I felt like if you don't get it off your scalp properly I got a lot of itching and I didn't like that and then sometimes when I use products that have aloe vera in it it, it I feel like it itches me I don't know if it's my mind but I, I don't use a lot of products with aloe vera juice in it anymore or the gel i don't know it maybe it's my mind but comment below if you have ever had that feeling when you use aloe vera gel but from now on i am definitely going to be doing a flaxseed gel pre poo it is a game changer guys get on it i kept the Flaxseed gel in my hair for just 30 minutes. I felt like that's all I needed. 30 minutes. I did not want to overdo it like I normally do and you know keep 
stuff in my hair overnight i only did like 30 minutes i didn't even apply any heat i just let my hair soaked it up um i kept my i like to keep my hair in twist because i feel like your hair won't get tangled that much especially when you're getting to your detangling stage in your wash day routine keeping it in twist or braids is definitely a great tip to prevent tangled hair but this is how my hair is looking i think i still have the product in my hair it gave me wonderful definition and i feel like i want to try doing a wash and go i don't know if it's even possible to get a wash and go out of this product like a soft wash and go using this and my moisturizer the honey green tea moisturizer but i feel like that's a good experiment and i think that's gonna be one of my next upcoming videos but if you liked how my hair looked and if you feel like you're gonna try it let me know in the comments below but if you liked how the hair my hair turned out definitely give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new here and when you subscribe turn on the post notification bell below the video yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll definitely see you in a next diy video bye